Yeah, what's up, guys? Naz, UFC EA Sports are dropping an update for UFC 5 tomorrow. Um, you know, I've been out of the loop with EA UFC for a bit just because I've been playing Undisputed Boxing. So this update kind of dropped out the blue. We're going to be going through the patch notes together in this video, guys. And um, patch 1.15 goes live tomorrow. With, oh, there he is. Sharapudi Magomedov with his little ginger beard. Let's go, Matt Frivola. Two great additions, guys. I'm not going to complain. You know, with the, he's one of my favorite fighters. You know, they could have made him more... S nah, I don't know, actually. I was going to say more slim in the body, but they've got his, like, head and all the little details good. Fairs, fairs, fairs. And Matt Frivola. Yeah, they've got ginger beers like me, guys. Well, mine's are, like, brown. But let's read this quick description here. Let me zoom in for you blind uncles out there. Patch 1.15 goes live tomorrow with two new rostered fighters, a new punch card with several alter egos, including the Daniel Cormier UFC 226 alter ego, aka Champ Champ. Community votes, oh, that's part of the community vote series, so that's Nabality's pick that they're adding to the game. Sweet. And gameplay fixes that address the muffling effect, muffling effect, of strikes that land from inaccurate striking range. I think that's something to do with the jab at close range. If that's the only thing that sort of comes to mind, muffling effect. The speed of leg kicks when used in a combo that starts with punches. Oh shit. They better not be nerfing leg kicks, guys, because that would be naughty of them. You know, leg kicks are already slow as they is. I feel like they get checked way too easily. You know, so if they slow it down, then it's going to be peak. You know, if anything, they should be speeding it up because it's, it's not that effective. Um, an issue that calls all fighters to have access to the low single leg takedown instead of only fighters with high enough level in wrestling. I don't know who would have spotted this and reported it. Like, these issues are so crap. Like, they're just bad. There's so many big, crazy issues out there, I think, that that should be addressed instead of these. And I'm talking about issues that were, you know, that have been present in the game since, like, the start, you know. But, you know, there's another look at Sharapu. Let me zoom out so we could proper see the full character model. There you go. You know, I'm not complaining with the two addition, additional fighters. The gameplay updates I'm a bit worried about, but here's a description of Shara Magomedov and Matt Frivola. Um, all right, I'm not going to go through the description, guys. If you guys want to read it, go ahead. It's just a description of like who they are. I'm sure you guys know who they are already. Um, but yeah, Daniel, here are the details you need to know about the auto. Going live today? No way. I thought these were gonna, I thought these were dropping tomorrow, but apparently these are dropping today. That's kind of cool. But okay, Daniel Cormier. Uh, community vote series alter ego is dropping today. That's the champ champ version. Oh, we're getting more alter egos. Sweet. Wait, let's zoom out a little bit. Justin Gaethje and uh, Leon Edwards. Let's go. That's cool. All right, so they're dropping the version that knocked out Kamara Usman at Salt Lake City. And um, oh, yeah. And Justin Gaethje also got a head kick knockout on Dustin Poirier at the exact same venue. So I'm guessing like, that's kind of cool, actually. Right, so they're dropping today, apparently. I'm going to, if I can add them in this video, guys, I will do, like, gameplay. Um, that's pretty cool. Best of Riyad season Nochi UFC alter egos will feature Diego Lopez, Shevchenko, Mirab in their custom Riyad season Nochi fight kits. Diego and Mirab will be available tomorrow, October 17, with Valentina's alter ego being added on the 22nd. I'm pretty sure the 22nd is when they add McGregor too. That's going to be sick. Uh, there's going to be some downtime tomorrow, guys. They don't usually have downtime, you know, but there's going to be downtime this time around. So here it is. New alter egos available October 17. Oh, never mind. Maybe the alter egos aren't available today. I thought they would be. Um, but Daniel Cormier, Leon Edwards, Diego Lopez, and Marab, and Israel Desonia, that's the one that was meant to drop before, but apparently due to a, a bug, which is what they said, uh, he couldn't be added. But he's going to be added on the 17th. That's cool, which is tomorrow. Um, and Octo available on the 22nd would be Charles Oliveira, Rampage Jackson, and the ch double champ, Conor McGregor, UFC 205. Uh, Alter Ego, that's going to be sick. You're definitely going to see a video of me using that. The thing is, guys, when these drop on the 22nd, you know, I need to make sure I record all my content quick because at, you know, at night, I'm going to be flying out to you know, Abu Dhabi to watch UFC 308, you know, literally on the 23rd. So I need to be quick with my content. Um, and yeah, so new fighters are these two. I'm pretty sure these are add getting added tomorrow and not on the 22nd. I would have thought. Nah, no way. Okay, maybe these are being added 
on the 22nd, guys, and not tomorrow. We'll see, though. But here we go, guys. Gameplay update. Am I recording? Oh, shit. Imagine if I wasn't recording this whole time, guys. Where's the timer? Oh, I am. Let's go. Reduce the muffling effect of strikes that land from a bad range. Jabbing someone from close range will now only barely reduce the damage of incoming strikes, for instance. Okay, so... Okay, jabbing someone from close range will now only barely reduce the damage of incoming strikes, for instance. I don't get what that means, okay? I kind of know what it means. Like, they're... I, oh man, I've just, I've, I can't explain it. I feel like now when you play UC5 and you, you throw a jab at someone, but they throw a hook at you, it does a little bit of damage. But with this new update, if you throw a jab and they throw that same hook at you that lands and you both trade, I feel like they'll do more damage on you now. So you've got to be careful when you pop that jab because they're essentially trying to nerf the jab because it is kind of broken. A lot of people do throw that jab a lot, you know, and there's there's sort of no there's no way to you know punish it you know there's no way to like tax it. Um, but I I think that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to find ways to make the jab less effective. So there's that fix an issue that made uh, lead leg kicks too slow when using combos after punches. Fix an issue that made lead leg kicks too slow when using combos after punch. Oh, that's cool. That's a buff then, guys. So they're not nerfing leg kicks. They're actually going to make the lead leg kick fast. I'm guessing if you throw it straight, then your lead leg kick in a combo would come out a lot faster and smoother. So, you know, more ways to throw, like, kickboxing combos and whatnot. That's pretty cool. You know, you know, body work and leg kicks are really, like, shit strategies in the game already. So it would have sucked if they nerfed it and just made headhunting even more attractive. Fix an issue that calls all fighters to have access to the low single leg takedown. Instead of only the ones with high enough level in resting takedowns. Yeah, I don't really understand who would have discovered this and reported it. Like, it's such a weird thing to report or for them to focus on and fix. Like, yeah, okay, it makes sense that it should be fixed, but there's so many bigger issues out there which need to be fixed, which I have reported personally. I've, I've messaged like game testers and I've gone, hey, this is the biggest issue right now. I've played a game for a long time, right? I know what's making these exploiters cheaters win. Right, there's a takedown you could do in the over under clinch position where you can drag them into mount and it can't be denied, which is still present in the game. So that obviously needs to be fixed. You know, there's a stamina drain glitch that's also present in the game too, which needs to be fixed. You know, this is this it's literally killing the ground game experience for so many players. Like, and people don't really understand it. People will just be playing the game casually and you know, they deny transition and all of a sudden they're losing all their stamina and they're just like, what the fuck? Like, it's just, it's not great, is it? Fix the rear bat state that prevented fighters from striking in the stand-up. I have a feeling I know what this is. There's a, a, a glitch you can do, which I'm aware of. I'm not going to tell you guys how to do this exploit, just in case it's, it's, that's not what they're on about and I just teach you guys an exploit. But I know how to put myself in a state where I can't strike and if the round ends, um, you you know you the the next round wouldn't start and you'll be put you'll be put in a situation where one player would have to leave for the match to be over. Fix a rare bat state that resulted in players getting stuck between rounds. That's literally it. That's literally what I was on about. This could this could both be the the same thing. You know you know putting yourself in that rare state and then you know it causing the round not to end. I think that's what they're on about. If they fix it great, but I just in case I don't want to teach you guys what it is. Just in case it's not that. <laughs> But, yeah, guys, that's the update. You know, obviously, W content-wise, you know, they they always seem to do good content-wise. Like, whoever the, is in charge of, you know, adding in, you know, the new fires and new water egos, you know, round of applause to you. You're doing a great job over at EA, right? Um, but gameplay-wise, bro, like, what's going on? Like, do they need more staff? Do they need more developers? You know, do they need, you know, Jeff Harrow back? Like, why can't they fix some of these crazy issues? You know, I'm sure EA are aware of the, the stamina, you know, exploits on the ground and just all of it, man. Maybe they've, maybe, you know, I've just thought of this right now. Maybe there are, you know, there's rumors of UFC 6 being in production. Maybe they don't give a fuck about UFC 5. Maybe they're focusing on trying to make UFC 6 a, a perfect game. Who knows? 
But, bro, I don't know. I think it'd be nice for them to fix the, those two issues, at least. The, the undeniable takedown that people could do where they drag you straight into mount, which is one of the craziest positions in the game to hold. And, um, and the stamina drain exploits that people were doing on the ground. Also, I would like to see uh, low-level BJJ players not have the ability to flip you into mount from the bottom uh, full guard position. You know when you like knock someone down, right? Like let's just say you knock down the kickboxing Alex Pereira alter ego and you dive on him and he's he's nearly out. He's basically unconscious and you're punching him with strikes. You're doing ground and pound and he slips one of your strikes and all of a sudden he turns into a second degree black belt and he flips you into mount. I think that that little ability, that animation, that whatever it's called, that flip, that sweep should be removed from fighters with low BJJ stats because it's just broken. I've lost so many fights where I've just been dominating a player, knock them down, dive, throw my ground and pound and they flip me into mount and then they just unleash ground and pound and I lose. You know, It just sucks. But, you know, that's it, guys. That's my opinion on the update. W content-wise, McGregor, can't wait to use him. But there's, there's so many gameplay updates which need to be fixed and addressed but guys anyways let me know what your opinions are in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace make sure you drop a like subscribe for more see you guys take care peace